Hey everyone, welcome to Echo Clip. So we have here a tier list. I actually got this tier list from um, the official Discord server for Ecocalypse. I'll be putting a link to this tier list in the description of the video so that you may have another reference to this as soon as you're off this video. Anyway, guys, to start off with, um, you know, a disclaimer. This is not my, my tier list. I just want to share this to those who who don't have a tier list yet or haven't seen the tier list yet. Um, this was done by a person who went through CBT a couple of months ago and has uh, experience, more experience than me in the game. So what I'll do is I'll discuss the tier list, see if I agree with, uh, with uh, what he uh, put as the tier for each of the SSRs that we have. So so far again, just wanna just wanna reiterate, this is an SSR tier list. Uh, if you wanna refer to an SR top 10, please refer to my previous video. I'll put a video up in the you know in the link up there so that you may have a reference. So to start, we will go with letter D. So this girl is Wadjet. So not really too much um not really not not impressive set of skills so debuff is so bad and nothing else so she is there at d next up we have uh, camellia so this is camellia this girl in on the right side of tier c so camellia is she's an okay unit her skills has drain her passive makes her bypass some defensive stats from the opponent, but that's it. And the next one is Baphomet. She is here, the left one. So support unit that reduces target block percentage and gives attack buff to all allies alive when she dies. So those are the their use is mainly or their their set of skills are mainly limited. That is why they are here in tier C. So let's go to tier B. We have here Zawa. So this is Zawa here. Zawa Nish uh, case where she gains more damage and the more buff she has than her opponent. Fortunately, her passive is useful where her auto attack can silence enemies, but the chances are low. That is why she is in tier B. Next to her left is Set. I did use Set for a while. I was kind of impressed with her, but... Uh, glad that I switched to Yulia. We'll talk to Yulia after that. So she is a tank. So another support case. Her main job is to protect her allies by taking damage they receive. So another useful tank. If you want more survivability, very straightforward. So, but she needs more than one star to shine. Okay, next in on her left is Tara. Very niche right now. So probably should be lower than Pan Pan. And more and more cases give shield will definitely see play. Her skill deals more than two times the damage when enemies have a shield and even buff herself from her passive. Okay, when she takes damage. So that is Tara. Next to her left is uh, Regina, this girl. Regina, another damage dealer alongside Rayon and Burn Team. So she specializes together with the Burn Team. Applies Burn to an enemy and also buffs herself by giving dodge percentage and pierce up. Next to her left is uh, Griff, another member of the Burn Team. And with a great damage and decent debuff. Very straightforward though. Next to her left is going to be Ferentia. A general DPS but lacks damage and synergy with other cases. Her passive is just as weak, is just a weaker version of MC and Beam's passive. We'll talk about MC later on who MC is. Next is Kiki. Kiki, though, I find that this is a low tier for her. She could be tier A or tier S. In my opinion, I've used her extensively. Great damage. Um, she has di high damage, good debuffs, and with defense and crit resistance down definitely good though just need high investment to work well so that's mainly it um i think i have already at one star or two star i forgot but uh, again she is not tier b for my opinion she could be tier a or tier s and to round out tier b is going to be 
Nefetis, an AoE healer for, for the burn team and also heals all allies on her skill plus an attack from her extra passive burns for enemies at R1. So that rounds out our tier B. Let's go to tier A. This is MC. MC, this is an SSR version of MC. They are an amazing free-to-play unit. We get them when we start. They are our avatars. So easy to get stars on by just processing through the story, guarding their kit, pretty decent damage, an occasional stun, and a chance to of immunity to debuffs and evade enemy attacks. So I think MC is going to require stars to be more effective. Um, it's good that uh, MC is in tier A. Next uh, on her left, uh, on his left, Actually, sometimes MC is a girl, depending on which you pick. Mori is uh, this is Mori, um, single best uh, single target damage dealer in the game, for, preferably for bosses. I think she's good for tier A. Uh, best in host purification and other content with a single target. Next on her left is Pan Pan, the only SR that gives allies shield. Currently, her shield is lackluster, but still C play in the end game also gives block percentage to allies. Next to her left, this one is uh, Toweret. Bonk Queen. Great chance for cleaning damage. Great damage too since she has defense down. So defense down is important as well. Um, good for tier A. Next, Garula. I've had experience with Garula actually in bringing her for quite a while. Great CC unit overall. Decent damage. Can stun up to three people. Reduce their healing received. And also can stun, freeze, and taunt when low on HP. So good overall unit to have. Next is uh, Niz. Great damage dealer, but mainly used for freeze skill, which is also useful. Wherein she can freeze basically a stun enemies for two turns, which can be clutch on PvP and other content. So PvP, I think this will be coming useful for Niz. Next to Niz is uh, Shiyu, a staple member for the burn comp. She is the main one reapplying the burn onto enemies and revives one ally or herself. Her burn hurts like hell. So fantastic for the burn, uh, burn team. That is Shiyu. Next is Vivi. This one on the left of Shiyu. So she is your rage debuff, additional damage, but also buffs your allies with her silent immunity passive and rage increase. Two allies from her extra passive. Great unit to have overall. Just need mid high investment so a lot of investment for vivi if you want to use her next is beam so for beam here this girl uh deals huge physical and damage and more if her hp is low her passive gives immunity to all damage until her next turn prox when her hp becomes one okay so next it to her left is nightingale crit reducer silencer and armor resistance reducer overall great support that you might want to consider for your team so she's a debuffer clearly and the last one for tier a this girl here is bastet Be best to pair with horus so horus is this girl so you have to pair her with horus as her skill applies armor break to enemies that reduce their armor and resistance by 30 and damage re reduced by 15. She also grants a shield to all allies when she dies. At 4 star gives attack buff to all allies in the same row as her. Okay, so next tier is going to be the S tier. We only have 4 there. So we'll start off with the best tank in the game, which I can personally attest to. Yulia, the best tank in the game. This is her. Uh, when enemies are ta taunted by her skill, they are forced to to attack her even if attack skill is AOE. So again, a very nice damage reduction with taunt and also gaining damage reduction from passive. So best tank, if you need a tank, I definitely had to switch from, from who is this girl? Forgot her name. From Set, this is Set. I switched from Yuina as my tank and I never looked back. So next is going to be Iken. So far, she's not available in the game, but she is a great DPS alongside Fenriru. Fenriru is this one, which we get for free. High chance of crit and additional damage when enemies are 50% HP below. Also counters burn team because of her skill. 
Next is Horus. Horus is here. Uh, give the highest damage possible in the game. Uh, her skills make it that you double damage on top of her high damage. And enemy has armor break. Not only that, on higher levels, high star level also increase crit and crit damage by 50%. So she is packed, guys. So better use Horus if you have her. And the last in tier S, uh, one of my favorites is Fenriro because number one, she's free. Uh, and very very good damage dealer. Not only that she can she can have a free link on on her, which is good. And again, guys, she is free. Not much to say about her, but she is a top tier DPS. And to our last tier, which is the god tier, the must haves for this game, we have Rayon, which is this girl, best DPS now if paired with units that are bur that that burn that are with the burn team but since there are two free neolists that burn that that burn make her very viable for today's meta her passive also increases any target that is inflicted by a burn by one term so um if you hear rain in the background so um, uh, apologies i can't control that anymore but uh, hopefully you guys can still hear me um next to her left is diana probably the best healer in the game semi tanky too because of her passive she heals three allies with a chance to heal all allies at the 50 percent hp and below also removes debuff in higher star levels and the last one which i really wanted to have during you know really wanted to have her because her banner is still up so we have Audrey. Her skills is very useful on bursting around one on all content. Especially useful on Abyss Drive. Silence on auto, auto attack buff and plus two rage on her skill are very useful. Also another attack buff on her passive makes her really good support overall. So that is our last one for Audrey. Overall, I, I say I agree 95% of this tier list. Um, I just hope that Kiki should have been up a bit because I think Kiki deserves to be at least A and I think that is it. Uh, most most part, 95 or 90, 98% I agree with this tier list and uh, I'll put again guys a link to this tier list so that you may have a quick reference and that is it. So just a quick guide for you guys. Thank you very much. Take care. Stay safe. This is The Warden and I'm out of here.